Mr. Moriri Mara, Chief Executive Officer of the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange in Tanzania. Yes. Thank you for joining us today here at the ICD in Berlin, and thank you for your lecture and the discussion we had earlier. Thank you. The Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange is the second biggest in East African uh, region, after that in Nairobi, That's right. Kenya. Since the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange began trading in 1998, uh, what changes has it brought uh, in the business environment of Tanzania? As, as you rightly said, the um, Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange in Tanzania is the second largest economy in, in the, the East African region, and Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange is the second largest um, stock market in, in the region. And it started in 1998, so has been there for something like 15 years. And during that period, it, it has enabled um, some of the privatization um, uh, policies implementation through giving um, Tanzanians access to um, these companies through ownership by buying um, shares. But also it has enabled the private sector to access public capital using um, the stock market either by issuing shares and his accessing um, equity capital or issuing um, debt instruments such as corporate bond, but also the government has been using the stock market to access public capital for its um, development projects. And over time, therefore, it has enabled um, uh, implementation of policies. It has enabled um, business development through accessing capital, but also it has enabled um, investors to um, grow they are, they, are, they are worth over this period of time. And um, also it has enabled um, communities to address some of their social challenges using returns which they are getting from um, investing in the stock market. So what I understand is that the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange has pitched many uh, initiatives to boost the regional economy. Uh, how do you think that Tanzania can emerge as an economic leader in East Africa and what strengths does it have as a country to achieve that goal? The, the current market capitalization for the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange is $13 billion. And there's more that can be done with, with that. Um, and the bond market is almost um, $2.5 billion. Uh, given the size of the economy, which is over $30 billion, the contribution of the capital market or the stock market towards economic development is still minimal. Um, given the size of the economy in, in the region. Um, and in the process of moving to where we are, to um, where we ought to be, um, there are some uh, uh, actions that we have taken, strategic and um, uh, tactical, to try and address um, the issue of capital gap, especially long-term um, capital, to businesses. And since most of the businesses in our economy, given the size of the economy, which is relatively small, is small and medium-sized um, companies. We have established a, a segment within the stock exchange to enable small and medium-sized companies, but also new ventures, um, to access this risky capital, which can be then um, invested in um, projects which they are, they are pursuing. And um, given this... Um, uh, new segment that we have established, we have seen some companies, small and medium sized companies accessing capital using the, the stock exchange, but also we have seen the growth of number of investors um, to these companies. And since um, accessing public fund using the stock market requires companies to operate in a more um, transparent and more accountable and uh, more responsible manner, uh, we, we think that will change um, even the culture and behavior of people and how they are conducting their businesses. And that will be um, a huge, significant change in, in, in assisting growth of our economy. I agree that transparency and honesty yes. are um, key in developing one's economy. Yes. Um, Tanzania is currently experiencing uh, a very strong economic growth and greater uh, visibility as a viable investment destination yes. due to the recent uh, discoveries of natural gas. Uh, what is your personal message to investors, both foreign and local? 
Okay. As, as I indicated earlier, um, there, there are a lot of potentials in, in Tanzania, apart from um, natural resources. Uh, we, we, over the past 20 years, for example, the mining sector, um, especially gold, has been um, on the growth. There are a lot of FDIs, the foreign direct investments, which has been directed to Tanzania from um, the uh, big corporates operating in the mining sector um, in the world. And one of the companies which is even listed in our stock market is um, African Bariki Gold, which is, is, um, is whose speciality is in the area of mining. Now we have discovered um, gas um, in, 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 in Tanzania, and the current reserve is estimated to be over 60 um, trillion um, cubic um, feet of um, natural resources. And we have seen, um, um, again, uh, sizable corporates uh, across the world which are operating in the oil and gas sector coming to our market, doing exploration at this stage before they go into commercialization. And therefore, th this is another um, attractive sector that people can invest in. But apart from the natural resources being in oil and gas or mining, um, we have a, a huge attraction in natural resources, again, in the wildlife. Um, where we, we have a lot of reserves in, in Tanzania, but also we have um, Mount Kilimanjaro, which is the highest mountain in Africa. And very well known. With a volcano, while it's, it's in the um, tr um, yeah, equator. So um, these are some of the attract attraction for businesses to come in, but also the tourism sector. Um, we are on the front of the Indian Ocean. Um, we have these um, game reserves. We have um, um, Mount Kilimanjaro, as I indicated, we have Zanzibar Island, which is part of Tanzania. With all this um, attraction, we think that um, there will be an increment, increment in foreign direct investment coming into Tanzania. But apart from FDIs and um, private equities and venture capital fund, we have also seen portfolio investments coming into um, Tanzania. And there has been a significant growth, especially since we, we allowed foreign investors to participate in our capital market in Tanzania, both in the equity space but also in the capital market space. And we, we uh, continue to invite um, FDIs, private equities, venture capital fund, um, development finance, and portfolio um, investment to come into Tanzania given the um, potential which is there. And the other big potential, which will probably in the next um, few years might make even Tanzania to be the leading um, economy in East Africa, is its population. Um, it's leading in the East Africa, and um, as the economy grows, it will move a lot of these people from um, a lower level to the middle class. And that is um, good, especially on the retail uh, business. So all of these potentials um, um, are opportunities uh, for um, businesses to come and invest in Tanzania. Many golden opportunities in Tanzania. That's right. Wonderful. Bearing in mind your extensive background in the field of economics, what role do you think that global trade plays in bridging gaps um, between separate cultures and the idea of cultural diplomacy? Uh, I, I believe that businesses um, operate better when they, they interdepend. And people have to integrate with other people, um, which then removes the cultural barriers in between. But they are being brought together by um, finance and economics um, issues. And in, in, in the African region, Tanzania, for example, is part of the East African community, which um, is, is part of the economic integration in, in the region with people from different cultures coming together to do business. But also Tanzania is part of the SADC, um, the Southern Africa Development Corporation, um, which is another regional block aiming at um, integrating cultures and uh, businesses and um, across the, the region and also integrating trade and investment across the region. And uh, I believe that um, with integration, with creating um, economic blocks within areas, but also in interdependence between um, economies, that is the way to facilitate the growth of business. You cannot, um, to my view, you cannot grow um, while looking inward only. You have to, to combine um, looking on your domestic front, but also looking at the opportunities which are provided by the global community. And um, in Tanzania, for example, as I indicated earlier, we have opened up our um, uh, 
foreign investors limit to allow more um, trade and investment to come in Tanzania. But also we have partially opened up our capital account to allow um, capital to come in and capital to go out from Tanzania more freely compared to where it was. And we think all these um, strategic and operational tactical approaches which has been taken are meant to address issues of um, culture, but also um, business and trade and investment integrations. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you. Have you enjoyed your stay so far here at the ICD? Yes, I have. I have enjoyed it. And I hope that will continue. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Have a good day.